Hey everyone, welcome to Jira Software Automation course. In this Jira Software Automation tutorial series, I'll be covering the complete roadmap of the Jira Software Automation and what automation will be able to help you in Jira Software. So Jira Software Automation, when we talk about, do not think of it as an automation tool which will automate something external. It's more of automating all the project management activities or the task within Jira itself. So when we say automation within Jira, it's a functionality provided within the Jira software that will help you to automate your project management activities and reduce the overhead of project management or agile project management within the projects that you are managing. So Jira comes with the rule builder and that's what automation is all about. So you can basically build the rules in the Jira tool for the projects and within the project, say for example, you have the tasks, right? So when the task or the issues move from start to finish, there are many manual overhead and interventions that need to be required for example moving the tasks in the swim lane or in, in on the board so there is some activity that you need to definitely do or have a control manually but then say for example there is a user story for which all the subtasks have been completed or moved to done then who is going to close that user story so you can basically build a rule and that rule will help you to close the user story or the epic automatically as soon as all the stories or the tasks within in that particular parent issue are being completed or done. So that's what the basic crux of automation within Jira is all about. Okay, so let's go to the Atlassian website. So this is the page. I would highly recommend going to the official documentation, reading it if you need more detail, but then I'm already reading the details and then coming up with the tutorial for you guys. So it's more easy and expedited learning for you all. Okay, now if we talk about the very basics, automation within Jira will empower you to focus on the work that matters and anything that is repetitive or that can be automatically handled, you can build a rule around that okay for example in day-to-day -day project management activities as the example I took if all the sub tasks are being complete then why not build an automation rule to complete the parent task as well automatically right so this is what the basic of automation is all about within Jira and then this is the page wherein if you want to read but then I'll be covering all of the details anyways okay now the key components of the Jira automation are or when you say rules rules are the automation rules that we build within Jira the key components are triggers conditions and actions so remember these three key components triggers conditions and actions. triggers are the triggers that kick off the rule okay so when we say trigger it will be say for example if we go to the triggers you will see that it starts every rule will start with a trigger there is something that is triggering it okay some condition basically or something that will execute or kick start this particular rule that's what the trigger is okay or the trigger will listen listen for the events in jira okay so for example when the issue is created so it's kind of a listener it keeps listening to the activities that might happen issue created or issue deleted or issue move right so that's what the trigger is all about okay then the next important component a in the rule builder or the automation is the condition so basically based on the trigger or so any trigger happened if as part of that trigger a condition has been met right so that is what you define in the condition and then the action what will happen if the condition is met that's the action so Jira automation revolves around these three key parts okay triggers conditions and actions and within Jira automation we'll be able to create the rules and rules will help us to automate the activities of the project management within the Jira software okay so if we if you scroll down a little bit at the bottom you will see all the details around the triggers conditions and actions etc okay but do not go into the details as of now I'll be anyways going ahead and creating the rule for you and then explaining you what all needs to be done for the Jira automation okay so this is the basic now let me go to the Jira instance so the next important thing 
before we go there what are the permissions required right so before you start learning anything in jira you need to understand many times you will face an issue that i do not have this this i cannot see this particular button okay so in order to do project automation so there is a global automation that will be applicable for all the project instances or projects within your jira instance okay so that's the global rule or global automation and that is done by the jira administrators okay so jira administrator right need to be there if you want to create rule and apply to all the projects within your organization now if we talk about the project automation project automation can be done by anyone who is project administrator and has browsed project permissions okay so basically just consider that you need to have the project administrator in order to create a rule okay for the company managed project and then for team managed projects also you need to have the administrator access so this is at the project level so and at the project level in jira cloud you have team managed and company managed okay so when we say team managed project these are simple to create and teams manage those projects right so team any changes in these projects are not going to impact any of the global configurations within jira okay so that's what the team managed projects briefly is all about when we say company managed project the company managed projects are the projects which are managed by the jira administrators or across the company so if there is some configuration that is being changed in those sort of project it will impact all of the projects that are company managed project okay but if you are a project administrator in either of these company managed project and team managed project you can configure the rules which are specific to that particular project okay so that's the project automation level now if we talk about the global automation which is what i mentioned first that you need to have have the jira administrator global permission to create a rule or automation and then apply it to all the projects globally in your jira instance okay so first and foremost thing is to understand that these permissions are required in case you do not have the admin permission you won't be able to do or create the rules or automation in jira okay so let's go to the jira instance now now this is my jira instance now i am the jira administrator as well this is my cloud instance and i am the jira administrator as well and i am the project administrator as well okay so let's quickly see what all projects we have so i have some create i have created some of the team managed projects and some of the company managed projects as well so if you see the type of the project when you will create you will see the type of the project will be displayed here this is the team managed this is the company managed right so if we go ahead with this particular classic scrum project let's see where, where you need to navigate in order to open the jira automation screen so here in the project side so we are at the project level okay now if i go here in the project settings if i scroll down you will see the project settings and in the project settings if you again scroll down right and you will see the automation section there so you click on the automation section and here you will see that it has opened the automation library at the project level okay so we have the rules tab we have the audit logs and we have a predefined list of library okay that is already available available as i mentioned when all stories are completed then close the effect right so these are anyways predefined libraries we can simply go ahead and turn them on for the project but then we need to learn and understand all of these rules by by building from scratch so we can customize it right so we'll learn them one by one okay and then there are automation templates as well that you can go ahead and explore but do not worry this will be a lengthy course and we'll be exploring all of these options one by one so you hope you can master all of these functionalities right it's not not just the basics but the advanced as well so this is at the project level okay i can go to the rules and i will be able to see all the rules that are basically available there in the audit log it will show me all the logs for the rules okay now this is at the project level now if i want to configure the rule at a global level if i say for example i am a jira administrator so i'll go to this cog wheel here okay and then here you will see that if you keep scrolling you will see that we have a system right so if you're getting the system admin settings then you are basically kind of a jira administrator administrator so here you will get all the jira settings options available okay so that means you are the jira administrator and then you will see that you have the global automation link there and you can set up this global automation at this level and then you can apply it to 
to whichever project you want to apply in your Jira instance. Okay, this is done by the Jira administrator and not the project administrator. So this course that I'm covering will be covering the Jira automation for the project manager, senior project manager, team lead, scrum master, product owners, anyone who is managing Jira will cover all the key capabilities that you need in order to build those rules so that your work is reduced and no manual intervention or manual work is required and your Jira instance management becomes really easy for you. Okay, so this was just an introductory part and then how you are going to navigate what sort of rules or uh, what sort of permissions that you'll need in order to go and configure global automation and the project level automation. Mostly if you are managing projects separately and your company policy allows you to set up the automation rule at a project level, you can go ahead and configure the rules for just your project level and that should be absolutely fine. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial on Jira software automation. In the next tutorial, we'll start right away from creating the first rule in Jira software. So I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.